How your knowledge on even and odd functions helps you in evaluating definite integrals? This is Jack's Insights. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Even and odd functions. A function is said to be even if it will remain unchanged after replacing x by x. Otherwise, it is an odd function. These are the theorems on the integrals of even and odd functions when the limits are from negative a to positive a. If the function is an even function of x, then we can change the limits from 0 to a, but twice the original integral. In another case, if the function is odd, given that the limits are from negative a to positive a, then the function is 0. For example, evaluate the given definite integral. The integral of the quantity, a squared minus t squared dt, with the limits from negative a to a. Let's substitute t with negative t to determine either the function is even or odd. Since the function doesn't change, therefore it is even. Now, let us apply the theorem. That is, 2 times the given function, with the new limits from 0 to a. Then integrate individually, we have now, 2 times the quantity a squared t minus 1 third t cubed. Combine the terms inside by using the LCD. Next, substitute the upper limit to the function minus its value at the lower limit which is 0. Simplify, now we have, 2 times 2 a cubed over 3. So, the answer is 4 thirds a cubed. Another example, the integral of x dx, over the square root of 2 minus x to the power of 8. With the limits, negative 1 to 1. After substituting t with negative t, the function became negative, therefore the function does change. The application of the theorem, therefore the value of the function is 0. That's all for this session, I hope you get something about this video. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.